Um, so I'm a security consultant. Um, so that means I do uh, pen testing in network pen testing, mobile pen testing, uh, and web app pen testing. So a lot of varied security assessments. So so I got into the industry. Uh, security was always uh, a bit of a, an interest of mine. Like in, in my own time, uh, I did computer science at university, um, and it was it was. It kind of I, I carried on getting into it then uh, after university I got like a sysadmin type role so I had a bit of security then uh, but it wasn't kind of I was still doing it a lot more in my own time and I, I figured I'd give it a go as a career uh, so I applied at MWR and have a look back since. So the best part uh, of, of being a pen tester I guess is when you get to do really interesting uh, assignments so uh, I guess I'm, I'm quite lucky because we get a lot of we get a, a lot of what I what I consider interesting, not kind of bog standard uh, assignments. So it's not always like the same sort of stuff. Um, so it's always interesting when you get something new to kind of get your hands on. Um, and I suppose on top of that, also uh, when you're doing things where it really really feels like it's going to make a bit of a difference, you know, like where you can actually see the something that was initially poorly poorly secured and then it gets to the stage where it's actually you know it's very secure so yeah those two things are probably the best thing yeah occasionally you get uh, people who have to get pen testing as part of a process uh, you know so it's just like they the project managers know that they have to get a pen test at some time um, and if you ever have to do jobs like that that's less interesting um, we get those less and less these days I think it's something that's becoming as security awareness grows it becomes more something that people actually get behind rather than just being part of the process. Um, but certainly, you know, people who don't really see the value in what you're doing, uh, it's, it's a bit disheartening. Uh, so, uh, in, in my experience, people care less and less about the the formal qualifications you have and more about uh, the experience that you have and the the knowledge that you have. So, do getting in like. Playing around with things at home, getting getting like a, a lab set up at home, and, and kind of just having a play around at home, getting getting yourself um, knowledgeable in, in all the areas that you're interested in is definitely the best way forward. Um, and then, if you want to go for a job, then you, know, you can actually talk about these things in, in great detail rather than just say, "I have X Y Z qualification." But my main source of information like that is through Twitter um, and Reddit. Uh, so Twitter, I just follow a lot of prominent people who tend to follow you know many hundreds or thousands of people and then they just retweet the interesting stuff um, so I find that's a good way of um, you know condensing things down into an easily digestible form